Thank you for listening to this lesson about wisdom. Today we are going to look at what does the Bible say is wisdom. I would just like to remind you to subscribe to this channel so that you can stay updated with all of the new material that will be added. Many people are familiar with King Solomon, who is known as one of the wisest people who ever lived. But where did King Solomon get this wisdom? And what exactly is wisdom? The Bible tells us that one night God came to Solomon in a dream. And Solomon could ask for anything that his heart desired. We read about this in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5. The Bible says, In Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And what did King Solomon ask for? Yes, it was wisdom. Some Bible translations have even added a heading in this passage that reads, Solomon asks for wisdom. God also says that Solomon asked for wisdom and that he gave this wisdom to Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 12, the Bible says, Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. The spirit of prophecy also confirms that Solomon indeed did ask for wisdom. In the book Prophets and Kings, page 31, paragraph 4, it says, The wisdom that Solomon desired above riches, honor, or a long life, God gave him. So now we know that Solomon asked for wisdom and that God gave him the wisdom. But what is it exactly that Solomon asked for? If we can know exactly what Solomon asked for, then we will also know what God calls wisdom. The Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge the people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this Thy so great a people. Solomon asked for the ability to discern between good and bad. And this is what God called wisdom. So when the Bible talks about wisdom, it talks about being able to discern between good and bad. In a previous lesson entitled, What Does It Mean to Fear God?, we saw that Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13 teaches us that to fear God means that we will love what is good and we will hate evil. So when the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, it means that to love what God calls good and to hate what God calls evil is the beginning of being able to discern between good and bad. And when the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33 that the fear of the Lord is instruction of wisdom, it means that to love what God calls good and to hate what God calls evil is to teach us how to discern between good and evil. God gave wisdom to Solomon so that he could discern between good and bad. But God also wants you and me to be able to discern between good and bad. In James chapter 1 verse 5, we find a beautiful promise. The Bible says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. Why don't you, by faith, claim this promise today?